It's finally here. It's travel day. I'm Dan and you're watching Walt Disney World Adults Only. Well, it's finally arrived. It's our travel day. I've been telling you all about my partner David for months and months now and about our trip. Well, today is the day that we are going to travel to Gatwick Airport and we're staying overnight at the Sofitel Hotel and then we're going to fly to Orlando in the morning. David is a little bit camera shy. He's been telling me he's not going to be in this vlog series, but here he is. David, say hello. Hi everyone. You're gonna to get to know David hopefully quite a lot over the next few few weeks uh, because we are gonna be bringing you a different vlog every Sunday. So this is the travel day vlog. It's gonna be filmed over two days. We're gonna to film today and then tomorrow all the way up until we arrive at the Yacht Club. Anyway, we're all ready to go. We're gonna go and load up the car, hit the road, and then I'll come back to you and tell you a bit about our trip. Hope you're ready for an adventure, because we certainly are. We have the car all loaded up, and now we are on our way to London Gatwick. It's about a 50 minute drive from home. We've just got onto the motorway. We are staying overnight at the terminal. We're staying uh, in a hotel called Sofitel, uh, which is in the north terminal at Gatwick. I think it was about 136 pound for us to stay there. So I'm gonna give you a little room tour to show you around there when we get there. Uh, let you see what we think of that hotel. Not stayed there before. In fact, I've never stayed at an airport the night before so this is like very new for us which i think is going to probably be the way we do things going forward it's going to be far less stressful um getting up and actually being in the airport than having to get up and then try and rush uh with the traffic and stuff to get to the airport so um i think this is gonna be quite a good experience but we're gonna vlog it for you um and then our flight is tomorrow um so we're gonna get some food when we get to the airport uh we'll take you along for that as well uh, just a quick bite to eat and then we're going to chill out get an early night so we're all rested for tomorrow uh, and then as i say our flight is at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning we are already checked in uh, we've got our seats which david's very happy about david whereabouts are we sitting on the plane at the back of business class and what are you particularly happy about window seat <laughs> yeah when we was um looking at the seating it looked like all the um seats are pretty much gone apart from one window seat and we managed to get it at check-in this morning so with british airways if you are a uh, gold or silver member um, you can book your seats really early on um, and for us to book those seats would have cost us a hundred pounds each to put them in advance that's 200 pounds just to choose your seats which i think is a bit of a con so we didn't do it but we got the seats we wanted anyway so uh, that's really great we've got to drop our bags off tomorrow we're not going to do that tonight we're going to keep hold of our bags you can drop them off tonight um but we're going to keep hold of them because there's stuff in there we're going to want uh, for washing and showering tomorrow shaving stuff uh, and obviously our clothes tomorrow so we're going to drop our bags off in the morning but yeah on our way to the airport and uh, very, very exciting. So I'll give you an update when we get there. parking is in car park one on level two and just follow the sign to valet parking uh, when you come into here i believe this takes photographs of the car um, all around it so yeah, there's cameras uh, it takes lots of pictures um, just to show there's no damage to your car being caused so yeah here we are valet parking level two london gatwick short stay Scan. car park so that was nice and easy, car dropped off at the valet parking and now we are walking towards the terminal. David, how exciting is it to be back at the airport? How exciting is it to be back at the airport? It's very nice. <laughs> it feels very nice. Does it feel real now? It will when we get on the plane. And here we are at the South Terminal. Very, very exciting indeed. It's been such a long time since we came to Gatwick Airport. 
my last actual visit here I think was probably back in 2019 so it's such a long time <laughs> so excited we're now at London Gatwick and we are going to go and find our way to the Sofitel we're at the south terminal where our flight is taking off from that's where our car park is but the Sofitel is actually at the north terminal so I think we're going to find a little monorail so we're going to find that right now we haven't been on a travel later for a long time have we? <laughs> so to get to the Sofitel you get off of the monorail at the north terminal which is just over there and then you cross over come around this corner here and then there's a covered walkway which takes you through the soft hotel right here we didn't find it at first did we yeah first time first time no <laughs> but yeah after about seven or eight attempts we finally got here but it's this covered walkway here just by as i said the uh, north terminal monorail over there What are your expectations for Sofitel, David? I then? What are your expectations for the Sofitel? Luxury. <laughs> Pure luxury. <laughs> <laughs> I've no idea. Have you ever stayed at one? Never. No, neither have I. Never. I've seen it in other people's vlogs and it looks kind of clean and basic. Are you going to help me do the room tour when we like, get there? I don't like that word, basic. Are you going to help me do the room tour when we get there? Yep. So here we are, Sofitel, London Gatwick. Oh, it looks alright, doesn't it? That's quite, quite spacious. It's massive. It's massive, yeah, look. Wow. First impressions of the Sofitel is it's very large. Ah, and here's the line for checking in. Let's go and get in the line. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> little, little detour there. Well, that's uh, very interesting. You have to actually press your room card um, on the panel in the lift to be able to <laughs> get the lift to go to your floor. Um, so we went up and down a few times, but we, we made it to the fifth floor. And now we're looking for room 577. What are you most excited about for tonight, David? Dinner. Dinner. <laughs> Something's never changed, eh? I'm just... I don't know if I've done... Do we have light? Oh, it's fine. It's, it's quite nice. Is it? Yeah. Let's have a little look. Oh, it is quite small, actually. I guess it's what you expect in an airport hotel, wasn't it? It's nice though, it feels clean. Yeah, it does feel very clean. Oh, welcome on on the TV screen. Would you like to look out the window? Yeah, let's have a look. It's not really a balcony as such, is it? But that is quite a nice view down of the, what do you call that, lobby, atrium? It's reception, quite a nice I don't know. Reception. Yeah. Very nice. Let's have a little look around the room. You gonna show us around? You gonna give us a little tour of the room? I can. I don't think it'll take very long. There's not it's very not much to take see. Long. It will take about five steps. Yeah. So but it does feel clean in here, so that's good. So as you come in through the door, what have you got here? I don't actually wasn't shut. Oh wow, the mirror's cool. So you put your card in there. And then it looks like you've got aircon and fan controls on there. Some light switches. Oh, the bathroom does look quite nice. They've got Bowman body lotion. Oh. That's very fancy. Yeah, that is quite fancy. That's quite a nice brand, isn't it? Very. And Bowman shower stuff as well. Wow, well, that's good. Well, this is nice. Quite a big shower. And it's got the, um, what would you call that? The, like, the rainfall shower as well as the shower yeah. head shower. As you said, it's got the Bellman products. Towels. Yeah, they feel quite nice and thick. Okay, let's carry on with our little tour. Very nice. 
nice full size mirror there, which is quite good, isn't it? Yeah. Come on then, show us around. Da -da. And then tea station. What have we got in the tea station? These places are always quite stingy with the tea and stuff, aren't they? Timings mm. every day. I can't do it in there, I'm gonna have to take it out. Oh. Ooh, chamomile. chamomile, help you sleep tonight. I don't think I'm going to need that. I was awake most of last night with excitement. Oh, Cranberry and raspberry. Oh, oh grey. Then we've got, what have we got down here? Safe. Little safe. It's and a fridge. Oh, if I can get it open. Oh, little fridge. I've got some water in there as well. Yeah, don't, don't drink that. Why? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably about £10 a bottle. There's some little milks in there. What's in that basket underneath at the bottom? I don't know. Don't know? I don't want to open it. Yeah, I don't know so what that is. We've got a little ironing board and iron. The bed, obviously. Nice black coat hangers. Uh, are there just two plugs? Have they got any USB sockets over there or is that just plug yeah, sockets? Yeah, USB with the... That's in good. the socket. That's very good. And over this side we've got a phone. And again the same with the USB in the socket. Actually it's quite nice. It's very small. Um, but it is an airport hotel and it is kind of what you would expect, isn't it? So, yeah, yeah. but it's nice. It doesn't feel cheap. No, it doesn't feel cheap. It feels quite nice. Oh, well, our home for tonight. Yeah. Excited? Yes, very. Let's go get some dinner. You will learn that Davy's priority is always to eat. I know I'm the fat one, he's the thin one, but he's the one that always wants to eat. It's so unfair. Okay, so we've been to our room, we've checked into the hotel, the room's really nice, and now we need to have some dinner. It is now 20 past 7. I've been up since 1am, couldn't sleep with excitement. David is up from 3am, so we're both really tired. I probably look an actual steak right now. But we're gonna have some food and then go and get a bit of an early night. So there's not many um, places to actually eat when you're not airside at the airport. So we've come to Giraffe, uh, which wouldn't really be our restaurant of choice, I would guess, but for tonight it's perfectly fine. Um, I've just ordered a mango colada, um, some halloumi for a starter, and then a cold beef and slaw burger. So I'm going to absolutely devour that. Uh, I'll get David to see what he's had in a second. I can't remember what he ordered. Um, probably a beer and probably something oriental named David, but I'll get him to show you what he's ordered. So David, aside from the really horrible lighting in this restaurant, <laughs> can you tell us what you've ordered for your dinner for tonight? I can. I've got um, Japanese chicken dumplings to start. Gyozo or something they call it. Gyozo? Gyozo. Yeah. Something like that, isn't it? I don't know. Then chicken katsu curry from Maine and a beer, of course. How hungry are you? I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. And how tired are you? I'm so tired. <laughs> I was awake at 3 a.m. as well, so yeah that's all right early night for us soon let's eat i don't think we're gonna sleep much tonight though let's, let's eat and then we'll get some sleep hopefully as you can see the starters were disgusting we couldn't finish them how was yours yeah it was good it was good it was nice what, I don't was, know what, what was it it was just like chick asian chicken dumplings but they were like fried which was nice. I don't know what was in this though. It tastes a bit vinegary and a bit soy, but no, it was nice. I have to say that the halloumi that I had was absolutely delicious. He it said was, it was quite spicy. It was quite a um, big portion for a starter. There was quite a lot of halloumi there. And then what I really liked was the spiciness of that sauce. It was really, really had a kick to it. But then the pomegranate had a kind of sour, but some kind of a little bit of a sweet sour taste to it as well. Mixed with the spicy sauce on that halloumi, it was really, really good. And uh, I didn't leave a scrap, as you can see. So yeah, great starter. As though the uh, mango colada isn't up to much, I don't think that's great. Um, it's quite watery. It looks like milk. Yeah, it's not the, not the best cocktail I've had uh, in a restaurant. But yeah, it was okay. How's your beer? was disgusting. <laughs> okay, so we've just finished eating here at Giraffe in Gatwick South Terminal? North Terminal? South. 
South Terminal. South Terminal. <laughs> I knew that. Um, I had the Japanese dumplings to start with, which were very nice. Chicken inside. And then the katsu curry for Maine, which came with noodles. It was very nice, actually. Um, I do a similar one at home, uh, the, but the sauce is, it was very nice. The chicken was a bit soggy, though. A bit too much sauce. They came with noodles at home. I normally do it with rice, so noodles was like a nice alternative. Um, it was very tasty. I actually wanted to order a second one because I was so hungry. Um, so we've just finished eating and now we're, we've just ordered some more drinks. So I'm just having a white wine now. And Dan, what about your dinner? My dinner was really nice. I had a pulled beef burger. So it was a beef patty with some barbecue pulled beef brisket on top. It smelled amazing. Oh my goodness. And the barbecue sauce was delicious. It was actually too much. Really, um, I did manage to eat it. You won't be surprised to know, but it was quite difficult to get through. I feel quite stuffed now. There's no room for dessert, definitely. But yeah, it was really nice. So the chips were really, really hot, but they were just standard fries, really. And now I've got myself a nice strawberry and basil daiquiri. So we're back at Sofitel now after having dinner over at Giraffe. That's what it looks like at night, as you can see very very soft lighting in the lobby there's the urban cafe there which we didn't go in tonight and there's a little bar over there but yeah it's quite a, a nice little lobby it's quite a nice hotel and we also learned earlier on that if you're going to use the lift you need to touch a card otherwise you just go up and down to random floors so yeah, you need to touch a card to get to your floor as David will show us now. Oh, that's a very extreme close up, David. Considering you've not seen so early, you look good. Definitely don't. What floor are we on? Five. Five. You've got to touch your card first. That's it. Then press five. Look at the view. Look at the, the view. The technology of the lifts is so complicated. For simple people like me, it's complicated. But we worked it out between us, didn't we, in the end? <laughs> and what have you got in your hand, David? I've got water, because we must stay hydrated. Yeah. And all important. So we are now back in the room after our dinner at Giraffe. Uh, and yeah, I think the first part of our travel day has been a success, all in all. What do you think? Yeah, definitely. I think we made the right decision coming to stay here the night before to travel. Because there was no stress with packing, rushing to the airport, like getting stuck in traffic. Not that we did. But yeah, it was definitely the right decision to do this tonight. Better. Car parking went fairly well. Um, it didn't recognise our index, our car registration at the second barrier. We had to wait for the guy to come and let us through didn't we but that was very simple we went into the valley parking uh got our cases out he came and took the key from us and uh told us where to pick it up in a couple of weeks so that was all good very yeah, it just felt a bit strange though just leaving the car with some strange guy and then yeah yeah that was just a bit strange but and then this hotel as you said yeah, I've never done this before. I've never stayed at a hotel at the airport the night before. We're so close to the airports that, that we've never really had to do this. But having done it now, I think I definitely would do it again. And this hotel's really nice for what we Especially paid. Especially if we've got like a, a medium long haul flight, I think it's definitely worth staying yeah. in the hotel the night before. Like tomorrow, where we won't have to get up until about quarter to seven, seven o'clock tomorrow. Uh, whereas if we were at home, we'd be getting up at about half four to make sure we were here in time. Wouldn't we get ready, get out? Get, yeah. Get, so, um, and that'll make us even more tired tomorrow. So I it think makes this is it a, a longer day. Makes the travel day much longer. So I, I think this is a really good idea. And then giraffe for dinner today. Um, there was giraffe was good. There wasn't for dinner. there wasn't much choice, was there, at the airport? Surprisingly, there's two two restaurants here. There's the Urban Cafe and the brasserie and um, we didn't really fancy those did we particularly and giraffe was really the only other option um on this side before you go through security so there wasn't really the opportunity to kind of pick where we ate but 
Giraffe was really good. I was really pleasantly surprised with it. I liked it. It was good. It Considering was, it's just a restaurant for people to just dash in, dash out before they catch a flight, like it yeah. was actually quite nice. Service was really good. Our server, Eugenio, uh, was brilliant. Is that his name? Yeah, Eugenio. How do you know that? It was written on the bill. Uh, but he was really good, wasn't he? Really attentive, yeah, really nice. efficient. The food came really fast. It was hot. It was really flavorful as well. Um, I really enjoyed my dinner. Mm. Probably a little bit too much food. Uh, I definitely could have eaten a, a second katsu curry, though. <laughs> that, I know that's <laughs> disgusting, but I really could have done. But that's you every single day, though. You could always eat more. <laughs> yeah, You're a little bit picky, aren't you? Probably. <laughs> Uh, so yeah the food was great um, and then the drinks were good we had you had a beer and a wine I had two cocktails and our bill was just over £70 uh, which for two starters two main courses and four alcoholic drinks alcoholic drinks at an airport at an airport I think that's quite good you know I think that's quite reasonable for what we had and I really enjoyed it yeah and now I'm nice. absolutely knackered I'm so tired um, but you've bought Prosecco for us in Marks and Spencer's. <laughs> we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a little bit of Prosecco in our. Oh, you haven't got there in your side. Oh, there. The glasses. Are you gonna are you gonna open the Prosecco for us now? Show the glass. Show our bijou fl- our bijou champagne glasses. Oh yeah, have. the glasses are not are not are not too great, are they? Oh god, I nearly fell off the bed. But yeah, we've got these little little glasses. <laughs> Uh, which are not great but yeah you open the champagne David not champagne Prosecco Prosecco. we will have champagne during the trip but but we'll have champagne in the morning actually in the BA lounge won't we (sighs) little glass of champagne for breakfast it's probably Prosecco there to be fair no no it's proper champagne in the BA lounge yeah and they give you champagne when you board the flight as well so so yeah yeah. so we're going to have a little bit of Prosecco uh, maybe some crispies as you call them uh, a couple of jelly jelly babies for sure, and then I think we're gonna get our head down and get some sleep, ready for tomorrow. Oh, oh, there we are. Cheers, ears. Cheers, ears. So yeah, to our holiday, part one of our travel day. I think has gone very well. We've got part two of travel day tomorrow, but don't worry, it's all gonna be in the same vlog. We're just gonna continue it on for you, so you'll see the rest of our travels tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we have got to check in, or we've checked in already, we've got a bag drop before 8, get through security, then we're going to go and do a little bit of shopping, head to the BA lounge, we'll show you what the lounge is like, uh, then our flight takes off at 11, um, so as I told you before we're in Club World which is business class, so we're going to have our little flatbed, hopefully get a bit more sleep there, although you don't really sleep on a flight do you generally, no. Um, so a little bit more sleep for me hopefully, I'm going to do a little bit of editing as well on the flight, what are you going to do? <laughs> Watch films. Watch films and... Gardener's World. Gardener's World, oh no, not Gardener's World. Monty Don, no we don't want any Gardener's World. Um, but yeah, so we'll have our flight, it's about 9 hours 20 minutes and then we've got Mia's Connect book to take us to Disney's Yacht Club our first of three resorts and then when we get there we're going to check in and we're going to dash down to Disney Springs for some dinner and to get our Magic Band Plus and then we're going to come back to the Yacht Club do some unpacking and hopefully if we get a good view uh, from our balcony we might be able to watch the Epcot fireworks. fireworks hopefully anyway thank you for watching part one of our travel day good morning and welcome to part two of our travel day i slept quite well i don't think david did david how did you sleep i didn't i was awake at three four not good why why was it the bed was uncomfortable or no the bed was lovely yeah very warm but not too warm We we had the aircon on though yeah i don't know i just so it, wasn't, it wasn't the uncomfortable, it's more the anticipation of the day. I think so, yeah. Oh, what do you think of the room overall? Really good. Yeah? Yeah. Would you very stay nice. would, would you stay here again? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I have to say I do agree with you, it was a particularly nice hotel to stay at and as we said last night, 
uh, I'll definitely do this again um, for our next trip it's been so much nicer um, being able to get up this morning at a normal time so anyway now it's quarter past seven so we're already packed and ready to go all of our cases and hand luggage are packed over there David's got his hand luggage bag just there I think but on his shoes um, so yeah we're all ready to go we're gonna head downstairs um, the checkout's really easy you've got to put your card in a box as you leave there's nothing to do no need to stand in a line and then we're going to head across back to the south terminal uh, to drop off our bags and then do the security process so yeah that's our little shuttle back to the south terminal in the departures area now and British Airways is the furthest down there that you can see I'm not sure what zone it is we're going past G E D so I'm gonna guess that British Airways is probably maybe A or B uh, but I'll tell you when we get down there the airport's quite busy this morning it's only about 7 30 in the morning it's already quite busy so we're coming up to zone C yeah this is British Airways here And as you can see, this whole area here, C, is actually all British Airways. Uh, and then we go through this line here, which is checking for Club World and Club Europe. But yeah, this is the bag drop for Club World, business class. Uh, check in. And then you get some kind of priority boarding as well, fast track security. So the line in here is actually much nicer. There's some nice comfy sofas over there as well. If you want to sit and have a little chill out. I'm not very good at pushing these cases on carpet. Okay, so security took us less than 10 minutes to get through. Very easy. We had to take our shoes off and put our stuff through. But yeah, less than 10 minutes and we're through. And we're going into the Boulder Duty Free. David, what are you looking to buy in here today? Aftershave for my desk at work. For your desk at work? Yeah. This is the South Terminal, once you've gone through security and through the world's largest ever duty-free shop. And we're going to find, hopefully now, going to find the BA Lounge and go and get ourselves some breakfast and a glass of champagne. Airways Lounge is this way. I think we have to take a lift to the British Airways Lounge, don't we? I don't know. Yeah, we do. So the British Airways Lounge is on the fifth floor. Can you hear the difference in noise already? Should we come out of that crazy busy terminal? It's so much more peaceful just being here. People laying on the floor. Away from the madness, eh? Okay, in we go. In we go. Fifth floor. First, I've got two hash browns, uh, some sausage patties, some beans, and a small cheese omelette, a little roll, and then a glass of champagne. So, we get a couple of pastries afterwards as well. But yeah, that's breakfast in the lounge. And what have you got, David? Oh, but you've got bacon, which I haven't got. I'm not a bacon lover, am I? No, you're not. Oh, you're I don't know. You're why. diving straight in there, look. Do a quick tour of the buffet, but at a point when there's no people there, uh, I think that's the nicest thing to do. So, yeah, sitting in the lounge, chilling out now. We've got about um, two hours, I would guess, before our flight boards. Um, yeah, the flight information is on the board there at the moment. It's currently showing on time, which is useful. It is the so here is the buffet. As you can see, we've got some sort of little pastries and rolls just there. And some things that are with porridge. And we've got ketchup, uh, little muffins, bacon, sausage, patties, 
omelettes, cheese, hash browns, and some baked beans. That's the hot things. Here we've got some yogurt and some hot fruit. And then we've got cereals, a little bit different cereals, and there's some cold meat, cheese, no fruit, and yogurt here. And there's fruit here you can pick up and take away with bananas. And then over here we have the best bit, which is the bar. As you can see, they've got all the different spirits. I love that Ciroc vodka particularly. There are lots of different um, gins as well. Olives and nuts. Um, you can help yourself. And then over here, you've got glasses, water, and then the olive oil and champagne. Uh, I've got some fruit juices as well, so uh, quite a nice selection in the beer range this morning. David, tell me, what did we just do? I think we were just queuing up at the wrong gate. <laughs> <laughs> for, for how long did we queue up? About 20 minutes. <laughs> what, are you not allowed to have next time we come on the Champagne? Yeah, no, no more champagne for you. <laughs> it's the champagne. It's the champagne. Anyway, we're about to board the flight now. We're just in the line waiting to get on. So hopefully, hopefully we'll be on board very, very shortly. Good morning, 4B, welcome Thank on board. Thank you much. All of them warm here. You're in there. Oh, I haven't done this very well. No, you haven't. Ah! <laughs> okay, so we've all uh, seated and everything on the plane, and we've got our little champagne. That's the last thing you need more champagne. Yes, yeah, we fell pretty well. Um, so yeah, we're just sitting, waiting for takeoff now. Hopefully it won't be too long. Are you all comfortable? Yeah, I'm very, very good. I'm sitting down as well. <sighs> Everything's up in the locker, which is great. So uh, yeah, I can chill out now. And uh, once I go off, I'm going to start doing some editing. I've got a video to edit that's going out very soon. So they've just announced that boarding is complete and we are preparing to take off. The pilot just announced that the actual flight time is going to be 8 hours and 20 minutes. Now we thought it was 9 hours and 20 minutes. You said something about the wind across the Atlantic uh, helping us make up some time uh, today. So I'm not entirely sure if we can land an hour early. I'm not sure how that works but potentially we could be getting there a little bit early. If so that would be amazing. Anyway uh, everyone's just getting ready. We've had another glass of champagne. Uh, we've ordered some cocktails. I've got a um, citrus gin or something coming which sounds really good so yeah what did you order? wine white wine of course what else <laughs> let's do a little tour of our seat so first of all you get a little footstool um, which you can pull down uh, i'll be using that in a minute that little footstool um, enables the chair to lay down and make a bed so you can actually lay down and have a sleep uh, then we've got our uh, screen that pops out yeah there's nothing on that yet. Oh no, there is. Uh, so let's have a little look on the bar here. So, um, a little bit slow, not very responsive. We have some films, Top Gun, uh, After Love, Ambulance, Belfast, some Cinderella film I've heard of, Funny Best Disney, Death on the Nile. So yeah, I've got Downton Abbey, A New Era, I love that film, so I'll probably watch that again if there's nothing new to watch under that. Uh, under TV, uh, some of the box sets I've got on there. So, oh, The Tourist, that was really good, we loved that, seeing that. Uh, Julia was amazing as well, we've seen that as well. Uh, so a little bit of uh, music to check out. I'm not a gamer, so when we play any games, we we'll some games on there. Uh, they mean nothing to me at all. And then the Sky Flyers, I don't know what that is. Oh, this is obviously the kids' one. So uh, we might find some films here we want to watch. Finding Nemo and Frozen. Oh, this is actually, this is actually more my thing. Moana's on there as well, which is great. So yeah, maybe, uh, maybe I'll be going to the kids' section for my films. 
I know Leanne is currently tracking us on her flight app anyway. Um, she's sending me messages to tell me uh, where we are, so that's good that she's stalking us even when we're in the air. Yep, so here we are, here's the map. I don't know if you can zoom in or what options you get. Um, oh, you can you get different options about how you, how you look. I'll have a little play with that shortly. Where are we at the moment? Uh, we are still over the United Kingdom, uh, over Exeter, which is down in Devon. So, uh, yeah, I've got the map as well. Then we have um, a tree here. She bolts out and we pull it out again and you can pull that in nice and close to you uh, then down here we've got like a little uh, place to put the safety cards and then you've got a drawer as you can see my drawer is full of my laptop um, and also um, the headphones if you can come on board and you've got like a little bag full of some nice things as well which we'll look at in a second there's a pop point down there so you can stuff in and then these buttons here control the seat so at the moment I'm sitting up but you can sit up upright you can lay down and then go flat as I said before um, then over here we've got a USB port and a place to plug your headphones in and then a remote control which pops out uh, and you can use that remote control with the TV screen so you haven't got to use the touch screen at all so yeah a little remote control there so inside this bag We've got a uh, white company lip balm. They've given us some um, uh, travel socks. An eye mask if you want to sleep, which is quite spunky. And then we've got this little um, pulse point relaxer. So I think from memory it smells like of um, lavender. But well, it does say lavender, sage, and peppermint. You're using that. Uh, they give you uh, some earplugs. Then get a little gentle moisturizer, which is great because the flight can dry your skin out. Um, you get a complimentary pen and then a little toothbrush and toothpaste as well to freshen up before you get off of the flight. So, as you can see, the seat is quite large. I'm obviously not the smallest person, I have got loads of space here, I've got loads of leg room. I'm gonna let, put this stool down in a minute and relax. So lunch has now arrived on the plane. I'm going to talk you through what we have. We have got some kind of hummus, I believe over here, with some mozzarella and asparagus as a starter. Then we've got a small bread roll and some butter that's very, very hard, salted butter. And then for the main, um, I'm not a big lamb lover. I went for the lamb anyway, it was the better choice on the menu for me. Um, so I probably won't eat much of the lamb. I'd imagine that David will eat most of my lamb. But I'll give it a try. Uh, then we've got uh, carrots, broccoli, rosemary potatoes, and a little pot of mint sauce there. And then for dessert, we have a um, cherry, uh, kind of uh, black forest gat like a black forest gateau with a sour cherry compote then we've got some cheese and some chutney in there uh, there's some biscuits here i believe yep some little crackers to go with the cheese and then we've got uh i've got a glass of pinot noir i know david's sticking with the white at the moment so oh he's already tucking in how's your starter what, what have you got the asparagus thing. And the hummus? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, it's nice. I think I just ate a bit of olive. Oh, you don't like olives? I hate olives, but it was okay. Have you got anything different to me? No, I've got the same as you. The same, you just got the white wine, haven't you? Yeah. I'm sticking with the theme, David is tucking straight in yet again. So, lunch has been served. How was it? Yeah, actually, it was nice. It tasted very nice. Yeah. And what have you got now? I've got... I've saved my two last. I've got my cheese, an onion chutney, Jacob's crackers, and about a pint of pork. 
I have now got, I've still got my pin in the wall and I've got a packet of biscuits that she just gave me and then I've got a cup of tea as well. You didn't eat your lamb though. So I am not the greatest lamb lover, it's fair to say. In fact, if my family were watching this, they would probably say I hadn't even tried it, but I did try it and David will confirm that. I did try the lamb. It was quite nice, but a little bit too fatty. I don't like fatty meat. I love the flavour of lamb, but I don't like the texture and the fatty content of it. So um, I did eat probably about six pieces of the lamb, which is probably more lamb than I've eaten all year. And then David Guts finished it off for me. Uh, the potatoes, the vegetables, the mint sauce, the gravy were really, really nice. The chocolate cake was really nice. As you can tell, I'm a big lover of cake. And the cheese and biscuits was nice as well. My Pinot Noir, Pinot Noir is really good. So we are now four hours and 24 minutes to go until we arrive. I have finished editing my video that is currently exporting. Um, so that edit is done of the packing video. So hopefully that'll be going up uh, before we get back. Uh, we're just chilling out now. David's um, making good use of the flatbed. I guess he's been editing photos now in David. I'm not sure what he's doing. Um, as you can see, he is fully stretched out with his little duvet on. Oh. <laughs> I've got no idea what that was, but he's enjoying himself anyway. So we've got one hour and 10 minutes till we land and afternoon tea has just been served. So we've got uh, a couple of little sandwiches uh, over here. I think it's pastrami and cheese. I'm not sure what's in the other one, I'll stay with in a second. We've got a little thin scone with some strawberry jam, some potted cream, and then the tiniest little batter bag ever. I love batter bag, this is amazing. And a cup of tea. So yeah, looking forward to the batter bag the most now. Um, David's um, already been um, getting involved with the sandwich. What was in the sandwich? Pastrami, uh, no, whole grain mustard, gherkin. Is it nice? Yeah. What are you going in for next? I don't know what's in this one. Oh. I don't know what's in it. Egg mayonnaise, Quite maybe? Quite easy. Chicken. I might be chicken Caesar. I saw someone the mix of chicken Caesar. Maybe it's chicken Caesar. Yeah. Good? Yeah, nice. How's she now? Very needed. <laughs> it was all the champagne. Okay, let's have some afternoon tea. Tell us what we do next. Land through immigration and picking up Mears Connect to take us to the Yacht Club. Yeah? And then what's the plan once we get to the Yacht Club? Uh, have a look around the hotel, because obviously I've never been there. And then we're off to the Polite Pink for dinner. Okay, I'm actually in disbelief right now. Our flight landed half an hour early. Uh, we were the only people in the immigration hall, the first people there and then we went straight through. Our bags came like 10 minutes later and we are now in Orlando International Airport. We are home. How exciting is that? I've never ever got off of the plane and got through that quickly before in my whole life. We were the first two people off of the plane um, and we literally sped walked all the way to the immigration hall straight through what a great experience we had today. We've been so lucky, haven't we, David?
Okay, we finally arrived at Disney's Yacht Club. Um, our room isn't ready yet, but I want to talk a little bit about Mia's Connect first. First of all, Mia's Connect is not Magical Express without the wraparound like I talked about in our trip announcement video. Um, it wasn't the same service at all. I've never waited for Magical Express, not more than maybe two, three minutes. You walk straight through. This was a completely different story. There was a queue of people in every single line. It was absolute chaos. There was no organization um, and nobody seemed to know what they were doing. They were taking people from various lines and chucking them all on one bus. Um, but after about a half hour wait, we were on our way. So it wasn't terrible, but it was terrible compared to what Magical Express used to be. And of course, David, you don't know what Magical Express was like because you've never been on that, have you? So no. what was your impression of Mia's Connect? Rubbish. <laughs> Rubbish? Yeah. It was just standing in random lines and then they were just randomly selecting people from lines and shoving them on a butt. Yeah, it just seemed really strange. It was kind of too many staff members um, in the actual uh, airport terminal, but not enough people driving buses. Um, so they had so many people standing around doing nothing and not doing very much. Um, it was just really really poor compared to what magical express used to be so very disappointed by Mia's connect um i probably wouldn't use it again unless they get their act together yeah that was quite poor uh, we eventually got rammed onto a little minibus um, with people going to saratoga springs and to boardwalk we were the final drop off so we've been to both of those resorts which was nice for you to see i guess because you've never seen them before uh, and then we've arrived at the yacht club and our room isn't ready um so uh we've been told to come back at 5 30 um, it's almost ready apparently, they're just doing the kind of QA, the final sign off of it, so uh, we don't know what room we've got yet. Um, we've just got our, um, what they call refillable cups, uh, which you've never seen before obviously because it's mm. new to you. So uh, we've got our refill refillable cups, we've got um, some vitamin water, zero sugar vitamin water, we both went for the lemonade, uh, which is quite nice. Um, we've had a little look around the resort, but it started to rain so we came back in, didn't we? Um, but what's your first impression of the yacht park? Very nice. Very, very nice. Good choice? Yeah, very good choice. Of yeah. course it's good choice. I chose it, wasn't it? So, <laughs> so yeah, uh, we've got another kind of two, three minutes to wait. I've uh, got to go back to check in um, to see if our room's ready. Uh, hopefully it will be. Um, so we'll be back very shortly, hopefully, with a room tour for you to show you what our room is like. And then we're going to head off to Disney Springs for some dinner. It's been quite a long day. Quite a long two days, in fact, um, but some dinner and then uh, bed, I think. Yeah. Cool. Right, should we head back to the lobby and see if our room is ready yet? Yes, let's go. Let's go. Okay, our room is now ready. We are in room 4219. And we're gonna do a little room tour for you. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Are you going to do a little room tour of us? <laughs> yeah. What do you think of the room? Very nice. No? Yeah. So first of all, we've got a coffee machine here with that Disney 50th anniversary special blend. We've got an ice bucket. And then what's in here? In this cupboard. Oh, that is an ice bucket, isn't it? Oh, what's that? A fridge? A wine fridge. There's nothing in there. A wine fridge. There's no wine in there. Okay, and then as we go through, uh, we've got this big sliding door here. Does it slide? Yes. Oh, yes. So it just closes off that. It closes off the bathroom. And do you want to show us the bathroom? Uh, I know where the light is. Where's the light? The light for the bathroom. There. Oh, here we are. So we've got um, two sinks. Shading mirror. It's a whole setup. A couple it? of nice little lamps up there as well. I, uh, and then we've got the H2O Disney special um, toiletries, which are being discontinued. So we've got the facial soap, the shower cap, the mouthwash, body lotion, and vanity kit. These are going to be unavailable to, to get soon. So the highest offers, please get bidding. We will sell them to you. I was going to say we'll sell them. That'll pay for our next trip. <laughs> Um, we've got quite a lot of towels over there, haven't we? There's a hair dryer under there. Uh, yeah, there's a little bin down there. And then under here we've got more towels and we've got a hair dryer. And here we've actually got um, a shower. 
bit of glass door in here, more H2O products, more soap. They also feel very dirty. We've got the revitalizing shampoo, the body wash and conditioner. Uh, we've got two showers. We've got the kind of the rainfall one and also a shower head. A little tub as well. Washing a line. A little washing line up there as well, which we can use for our swimwear. Um, I don't know what it is about Disney baths or whether this is an American thing, but they're always very, very low down and very shallow. Which I was is thinking it's, it's tiny. Which is completely different. Uh, more towels in here. Uh, the toilet, I'm sure you're not interested in the toilet. Uh, what have we got here? So, what's in here? Oh, safe. That's quite a big safe, isn't it? What's I iron. An iron. Ironing board. Fold up ironing safe. board. Wow. And in the big wardrobe. I feel like I'm hosting a game show. You're doing very well at hosting. Um, Suitcase stand. Perfect. Hangers. Uh, it's got lights on the round as well in there. That's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's a nice little touch inside the cupboard. It's the small things that please me. There's a coat hook as well uh, inside that cupboard as well. Uh, so here we have an interconnecting door, which we will not be using. Uh, and then onto the bedroom. So we've got two, I think they call these queen beds in America. We don't really have queen bed in the UK, do we? Yes. It's, we do? Oh, okay. Not something I've heard queen of. And king. I don't know what else. Then we've got a Mickey made out of towels with a little Dumbo. Uh, is that a little note? Oh no, it doesn't actually say. Normally these little notes would tell you um, who your mouse keeping person is, but it doesn't tell us that. Uh, I've got a nice bit of artwork on here. What's this of? Oh, it's of a ship and it's got a little, a little Mickey on it as well, front of a boat. 71, obviously the significance of 71. The year it opened. The year Walt Disney World opened, yeah. <laughs> little shelf here with a plug socket. Quite nice wallpaper, lamps. I quite like the headboards on these beds. They've got little reading lights here as well, which you're gonna like, David. Yeah. Um, so we've got those. Don't touch the hidden Mickey. I'm just moving his head back. <laughs> and then over here, we've got a little bedside table with a telephone, uh, with a couple of USB ports there, and a couple of plug sockets, uh, lights. Uh, in here, we've got a couple of little drawers, very small drawers. Um, and a Bible. Oh, I don't we'll be using that. And then over here we lovely have desk, lovely mirror. a lovely desk and a lovely mirror. Hello again, it's me. Yep, it's me, I'm still here. Uh, and again, there's some USB ports in this desk, which is really handy with all the amount of stuff we've got to charge. So that's brilliant. Nice chair yeah. to sit on the desk. And then over this side, we've got um, like a sofa bed. We won't be using this, but there's some instructions on how to pull this out. At some point, we may pull it out to show you, but we definitely be using it as anything other than a sofa, um, will we? No. Nice no. nautical lamp there, and again, some more nautical artwork. Uh, we've got like, there we uh, go. oh, another Mickey on that boat ship there, with a 71. And then the view from the balcony. Oh, a little slide door. You're very good at that, David. I know. <laughs> And then as we go outside, this is not the view I requested from Touring Plans, uh, but it is, it's, it's, it's good enough. It's a water view, you can see the boardwalk, you can see the pool, and you can also see um, the um, lake. I can't remember what that lake is called off of my head. I did know, but I've forgotten. You can see the lake across there as well. Uh, so yeah, so it's not a bad view. Uh, if you look across there, you can see the beach club. Hopefully we'll obviously see the Epcot fireworks from here as well. It's quite a big balcony. It's actually um, partitioned off, so you can't see your neighbors. Uh, we've got two little outdoor chairs, a small table, and again, the other way is partitioned off as well. And yes, that is our room. I think the only thing I haven't shown you is the dresser. So let's go and have a look at that. First of all, we've got this really, really cool. Uh, welcome on the TV, welcome Adam's author party, which is really cool. Um, the dresser's got some more um, USB sockets, which is great, and some power. I think they call them outlets here, but we call them sockets in the UK. They've got some more sockets, and then what's in the dresser? Let's have a look. Pillow and blanket. Yes. There's nothing in there. I don't think there's anything in these. There's nothing in these. And then lastly, we 
came and found a really lovely surprise. We did. Uh, which is from Taylor and Jake. Um, they have got us this gorgeous gift of a bottle of champagne and some chocolates from the ganachery, uh, which is amazing. So uh, this was given to us as we checked in. A gift from you. And it says, uh, we are thrilled that you are back home. Have a wonderful trip and see you in a few days, Taylor and Jake. And we cannot wait to see you, honestly. So Taylor and Jake, thank you so much. We're thank really you. grateful. What a lovely gift, what a lovely surprise. Thank you very much. We're gonna enjoy that later on. Uh, hopefully with you of the fireworks, hopefully you can see them from our balcony. So thank you so much for that, really kind of you. And we cannot wait to see you in just a few days time as well. So yeah, can't wait to see you both. See thank you. you soon. Okay, so we are now at the end of our travel day and I have to say, oh my God, what an adventure it has been today. We have been up and busy, well not busy, we've been laying on a plane really, but, <laughs> but we've been up and doing stuff all day um, since about six o'clock this morning. Um, so, um, Disney Springs, absolutely mental. I cannot tell you how crazy busy it was. I've never seen anything like it before. Um, the roads were insane. Um, people were queuing up. Um, there was probably, I would say, about 80 cars queuing up, waiting to get into the garages to park at Disney Springs. And there was no space. Every single space was taken, and they were just sitting there queuing, blocking the road. Um, so it was absolutely crazy. People everywhere, the world of Disney Store, you couldn't move. Um, but we did go to Polite Pig, as I said before. Um, we. I've got no idea where the luck came from. We were in a line with about a 15, 20 minute wait for a table um, and we were offered some seats at the bar, which we took and we just skipped the line. And Polite Pig was really, really good. It was way above my expectations. So uh, we didn't do our review in Polite Pig because there were so many people waiting to eat. We didn't want to take up the seats for longer and we wanted to get back as well to watch the fireworks. Um, from Epcot from our balcony. So uh, we did the review there, but we're gonna give you a quick review now. So David, tell us about Polite Pig. It was really good. We had the butcher's board. For two people. Uh, and what did that come with? That came with beef brisket. Pork shoulder. Uh, it had a barbecue cheddar sausage. Yeah, um, smoked chicken. Smoked chicken. Oh my God. And then we had- um, Brussels sprout. It was Brussels, Brussels sprouts sprout. in like a sweet, bourbon, waffle fries with a rub on them. Oh my God, it was just so nice. Get yourself to Polite Pig. The food there was amazing. And you really loved your beer as well, didn't you? Yeah, I had a workman's, the workman's porter, I think it's called. It was very tasty. Yeah, you love that. You want to go back then you sometime yeah. to try it again. So yeah, absolutely loved it. I had a moonshine cocktail, which was called the Polite, something, something. Uh, I'll put that on the screen for you um, we have a picture of it as well um, it was really nice really nice but it didn't taste alcoholic I could have sat and drunk that all night um, and not felt drunk anyway uh, the butcher's board was $44 um, with our DVC discount we got 10% off of that not off of the alcohol but off of the butcher's board so that was still a little saving then we made our way to world of Disney which was absolute chaos oh my god you couldn't move in that store uh, we got out of that store and then went to pin traders where we picked up our magic bands uh, our magic band plus even so we've got those now which is great because we couldn't order them ahead of our trip like people in the US can uh, so we've got our magic band and then we just couldn't face um, the chaos of a Disney bus so we got an Uber back and we've just sat on the balcony, had a drink and watched the harmonious fireworks and yeah, what a perfect end to our travel day. How was your travel day? Very good. Great flight, great dinner, great hotel, great fireworks show. So. Yeah, first, yeah. first day at Walt Disney World. Mm. 
I've got many more to come, haven't we? Yeah. So, yeah, so join us tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to Cape May Cafe for breakfast. Uh, then we're going to Typhoon Lagoon, and then after that, we are heading to Epcot. We've got dinner booked at Tepanido, um, so we'll be reviewing that for you as well. And then uh, they've got extended magic hours or extra hours, whatever it's called now, um, at Epcot tomorrow for deluxe resort guests. So we'll be going along to that and having a little bit of a late night doing some rides and experiencing the Food and Wine Festival. So that is the end of our marathon travel day. Thank you for watching. Uh, it's been a really, really, busy day and we look exhausted we're going straight to bed after this so uh just a couple of things if you've liked the video please remember to give us a big thumbs up thumbs up <laughs> and if you like our channel and you want to see more vlogs please ensure you're subscribed with that little notification bell clicked as well for now one thing left to say never grow up never grow up